Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. It's Nick Mackville, Compass Real Estate. Today I'm gonna to interview my business partner, uh, Mike Milano, also a realtor with Compass. Uh, he's been in the business for about 14 years and together we make Team m and And I just wanna thank you guys for joining us. We're gonna do a quick Q&A so you get to know Mike and I a little bit better. Um, I just wanted to introduce Mike, uh, if you wanna say a few words uh, about what you do, um, where you're from and uh, why you became a uh, real estate professional so we can get to know you a little bit better. Yeah, what's up everybody? I am from Novato, so a third generation Novadan. I live in Novato now. I have um, three kids that I'm raising in Novato with my wife, so working on the fourth generation of Milanos here. And um, yeah, I've been doing real estate for 14 years. How did you, how did you, how did you get your start? Uh, Mike, I've always, I've always wanted to know, um, now that I'm on your real estate team, I don't think I, now's the time to ask. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Um, so my stepdad's George DeSalvo, you know, and he's been selling real estate for 40 plus years here in Marin. And, um, when I got my real estate license, I started as his assistant or one of his assistants. He had a few at the time. Um, and it, happened that when I got my license, it was right when the economy tanked in 2007. And um, where most people uh, were slow, George was just crushing it. He had um, tons of REO business. And my job for him was doing all the pre-market stuff that led up to a house being put on the market. And so, um, yeah. I, I did that for four years. I think we did like 80 deals a year at least for wow. four years. Yeah. And then um, as the market shifted and um, I, you know, things changed, I started to get, get off and, and do my own thing. So that's, that was 10 years ago, which is crazy to think I've been doing this solo um, for a decade now. That's great. Um, well, that's good to know. Um, I joined, I joined, uh, during COVID. So we've got something and we've got something in common. Yeah. Um, best time, best time to join. Absolutely. Um, besides, uh, besides real estate, um, what else do you do? Uh, what, what do you, what do you like to do in and around Marin? So I'm a family man. I'm uh, happily married with three kids. And, um, when I'm not working, I'm trying to spend as much time as I can with them. Um, and we love to access all there is to access around here. So um, we're really spoiled being in Marin. You know, we're really close to San Francisco. Uh, it's a ferry right away. Kids love that. Uh, we love the open space, uh, hiking, um, beaches. So, you know, places like Phoenix Lake, Lake Lagunitas, Stinson Beach, um, just neighborhood walks. It, we, 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 we love those too. So, um, really whatever I can to, um, just be with my kids and just watch them love life. You got great kids, Mike. <laughs> um, speaking of kids, um, from your childhood, um, who had the biggest impact on you and, and what did that person teach you? person I, I would say people you know I was I was I'm blessed to have been raised by a lot of family around me um, my grandparents I, I think about them all the time when I think about like what I would want as a family for my kids because they um, they had really long like they, they married for years and years and years never never um, any kind of issues that I ever saw with that and raised families and worked hard and instilled values that, um, you know, I, I hope to instill in my kids. Um, and it, it's an example I want to set for my children with, um, my relationship with my wife. Um, you know, family first is the, is the message that they lived, um, and, and hard work. Those are the two things that I think that they all kind of, lived by and those that's that's an impact that um, I carry with me every time I wake up 
to when I go to bed. Those are the things that I, I want to do. I want to be a family person and I want to work hard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you were a, a young person and, uh, or if a, a young person asked you for advice on, on how to live their life, um, what would, what would you tell them? You mean like what I wish I told myself when I was younger? <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 If, uh, if somebody would, if your, if your younger self were to come up and ask you for advice on their life, what would, what would you tell them? To take care of yourself, you know, take care of yourself physically, take care of yourself mentally and take care of yourself spiritually. And my younger self would be like, whatever. But um, really those are the things that you can control, right? Um, if, you're, if you're taking good care of yourself, um, you're, you're really putting yourself into a position to have an impact elsewhere. So um, invest in yourself. I wish, you know, somebody had told me that, um, whether I would have taken that advice back then, I have no idea, but, you know, take, take the time to, to invest in yourself and to take good care of yourself. Um, surround yourself with people that, that lift you up. Um, set goals you know it's just it's the simple things but um when you set goals and and you um put yourself in a position to succeed or fail that's where the best stuff happens um allow yourself to fail that's the good advice um never quit on yourself you know that would be that would sum up what i would probably tell my younger self would you tell my younger self too when you yeah when you're at it we you, get you feel, feel free to push me around a little bit as well i'm a i'm stubborn i'm stubborn yeah. well, I, you know once once we find that time machine we're yeah. gonna be we're gonna be totally different we probably wouldn't be having this interview yeah yeah well uh i got a lot out of this mike uh i, I promise not to hold any of it against you um thanks for your time mike thanks everybody for watching uh, nick mcnabo with compass real estate uh mike milana with compass real estate uh, together with Team M&M, um, take a look at our local community website, parkbench.com forward slash Novato. And if you have a business and want to be featured, feel free to reach out to us today. Um, we're always available. Thanks, everybody. Cheers.